Do you know what I love most about this show, Jade? I love... <gasps> but first, intro. Yes, we've got your mailbags. I mean, I live for this. I love the information that these lovely people out there send to us. I also love it when I incidentally slip into a British accent, which is completely unnecessary. It's okay. But I'm there now, so I might as well follow through. How are you, sir? Very well, very well. You're like from the London Mail or something. You know, Royal Mail. very royal. Royal Mail. Yes. I I would love to see a version of you that was born in Windsor or something like that, because I can't imagine you being all proper. I know. And yet Oliver Any Reed, you know, he was uh, known for being a little bit of a lad about town, and yet he had a very, very interesting, you know, posh English accent. Mm. So a very interesting, that dichotomy there. I think if you, you know, you, you know, I just can't imagine put yourself you into a role. I'm yeah. Sure I hey, father, I have to work with this awful man called Ryan. My agent. I'd love to hear you like that. <laughs> My agent used to, because I was so Aussie Ocker, she used to get me to practice How Now, Brown Cow. Did she really? No <laughs> way. So many times. Really? Yes, really. That's crazy. It didn't work at all. Nah. No. <laughs> nah, why? <laughs> nah. All right, I got a letter here. All from right, come on, let's get into it. Caleb O'Rourke. Oh. Perth. I love Perth, by the way. Hey, did you just press the button yeah. without my authorization? <laughs> get out. All right, Aww. from Perth, Western Australia. Hello, Caleb. Thank you very much for sending in your mail. Does your partner ever get jealous of the bromance between you and Ryan? I wonder if he would. No, no. <laughs> you mean there's uh, <laughs> you mean there's someone else, another guy out there? I don't know. Is there, is there someone new in your life, Lepos? No, it's only no? you. I've told you this a oh, million good. times. You know, you know, I get jealous when there's other blokes. I around. know, I know. <laughs> you you were a little bit worried when I met Sam because you, you, in fact, you were That's worried I when was. I met I was. Zash. <laughs> I, was, I was. Yes, I knew you'd steal Zash away from <laughs> me. <laughs> and you did. You stole my friend. There was this guy that Jade... And then Jade you moved knew. next to him! Yeah, I did. Oh, we it drove very... me mad! I knew you were closer friends than him he was, than I could yeah. ever be again. He was <laughs> he was friends with this guy called Zash, and he tried to keep us apart because he knew that I was going to get along with him really, really well. <laughs> he was like, no. Ryan, I think you've been spending too much time with Zash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a little concerned. <laughs> It's true, though. Oh, yeah. And we were really good friends. We did kung fu together and everything. You could have come, but you didn't. But I knew you were closer friends than I could ever be. (laughs) Oh, you were too busy at home pouting, weren't you? Probably doing all those high kicks and everything. (laughs) Probably out walking around town. Buying chocolate croissants and wearing kung fu boots. I think you're at the. I'm really upset. I think you're at the pub (laughs) drinking your sorrows away, looking at a picture of me and Zash like on Facebook. Yeah. (laughs) And when when in reality, you two are just down at 7 Eleven getting caramel cream waves. In our kung fu outfits. Drinking caramel cream waves one after the other, just wondering if anyone else is around to show your kung fu boots too. He's brilliant. (laughs) Him and his family are absolutely brilliant. He's a great guy. We're going to get Zash on. Zash. I got to finish this. Sorry. Caleb, here we go. Uh, P.S. And as- Zash could get to the bottom of that for us. Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. I wonder if it'll go like you told us. <laughs> it could do. Oh, it says, P.S. As an apprentice plumber, I have to say it brought a tear to my eye when you mentioned on a live stream Mario challenge that plumbers are just not in anymore. Okay, one, I was gibbering. Two, I was gibbering. <laughs> yeah, but I, I just don't understand why Mario was turned from a plumber into a gymnast. What the hell is the point of doing that? I know, I'm right? not, I don't see him in a tutu. Actually, like... that's why I said that, because I looked at it from the Japanese Nintendo view of, oh, plumber no good no more. Yeah. We, no we, more. we must make... <laughs> Yakety yak. He don't will go be... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was just being Egg Chan. It's the mm. closest I got. <laughs> Nonetheless, I love Cheese TV and I love the podcast, so thank you. Well, that's very, very kind of you, Caleb O'Rourke. Thank you, Caleb O'Rourke. Yes, please don't tell anyone about our broadcast. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting away with... Uh, Especially your brother, Mickey. Yeah. All right. Anyway. All right, we got to... <laughs> he was great in Sin City, too, man. Yes, he right. was, he yeah. was. Oh, thank you. good name, O'Rourke. I feel funny. You know why? Because it sounds like New York. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look in New York, Rourke. Rourke. It's yeah. stabby. It's like Mick Jagger. The reason stabby. his name works is because it sounds like Jagger, right? Stabby. And Harrison Ford. The reason his name works is because it sounds like Saracen Sword. Yeah. <laughs> so anyone that has kind of like a name that's a little bit, well, you, you 
What? I'm What's wrong? I'm, I'm still Why are you can't, laughing? What I, word? I, I still okay. can't get over I'm trying stabbing. to say that anyone that has a name that reminds you of something dangerous. It's like, all right, look. It's, let like, me... it's like a word you'd use when you were describing one of your first encounters of sex. Mick. <laughs> you know, Shut up. How was it? It was stabby. Mick. Stabby. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's where I went when he said stabby. Can we get to, back to why Mick Jagger's name is cool? All right. But it's because okay. it's a mix between Jagged. And Jagged. Right? And Dagger. <laughs> In right. fact, I've got something rude to say, and I'm going to say it now. All right, do you know why the C word is so rude? Bugging. Because it's a mix between the word blunt Ooh. and cut. Runt. Yes, Ooh, that's I, why. Oh. Because it messes up your mind. I thought you, you were going to you know, say it. How can you cut if it's blunt? You cut me. You see what I mean? It's like one of those brain teasers. <laughs> you you go on and cut. Me. <laughs> it just depends on the delivery. It's oh. all in the delivery. Well, deliver that letter, will you? I will. They were nice enough I will. To deliver it to you. Yes, yes. And uh, this is from uh, William. William. Name Will. Suburb Mudgy. Okay. Question. After Cheese TV ended, Toasted TV occasionally glitched. It uh, it displayed a cheese sponsor. So my question is, Jade, were you responsible? Please say yes in brackets. Were you responsible? Yes. Really? Right. You were responsible? Yes. Okay. I was, because we planted a gremlin in the system before. A saboteur. The, a saboteur. Yeah, we weren't going to go down without we a good fight. We threw our sabos. We into... put everything into that goddamn show. And what do they give us? Toasted TV. Yes. Mm, great. A great show. It was no, lovely. Not Mate, bad still on. Is it still on? I don't know. No, it's still on. Still on. Okay, still cool. On. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Well done, Shirley. We weren't offended by that at all. No. Not at all. Not no. at all. And I'm sure you have a mailbag now. We do. To, uh, yes. to read. Oh, I do. Yes, I'm sorry. Here we go. Dear Jaden Ryan, great to see you back. Loved watching Cheese TV before school when I was growing up and also loved listening to your podcast a couple of years ago before you stopped doing it. What a shame. Anyway, anyway. my favourite shows you guys played were Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon, Digimon and Sonic X. Oops. Just watched your first episode you guys did of your new show where you asked for fan-made content. So I'd like to share my Jurassic Park parody I made for my YouTube channel. Nice. You guys seem like Jurassic Park fans, so here we are. I bet Let's my son's watched that. it. I bet my son's watched <laughs> it. I bet. it. What? It's in the links. Oh, it's in the links. It's in the links. It's in the, it's in the description. Thank okay. Look at that. Thank you for that, Adrian. Thank you for sorting that out. Keep up the good work and keep the laughs coming. That's from Corey Baker from <laughs> Earth WA. Thank, thank you very Corey. much, my brother. Thank you very much. Uh, now, thank you, Corey. We have one from Rory. Oh, cool. Okay. We didn't even set that up. Um, <laughs> he's a suburb, Cairns, name Rory. Question, uh, what car from 1993 had a 2.4 uh, double overhead cam engine, head-up display, 160 wa uh, watt CD player and six-speaker sound system, enough room to make all the girls go, and uh, boy, she really goes hard. Dad, let's see if he remembers without being told. Yes, I remember. I sure remember Once that. Once upon a time, Rory, the year was 93, and I was a young, long-haired git. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I think now I... Now you're a short-haired git. Now I'm a short-haired git, yeah? yes. Yeah. He was in an ad. He was in a Bluebird ad. In fact, that is the first ad that I saw you in, and you were all famous around school, and I was thinking, one day I'm going to be just as famous that, as that guy. I was so famous. And now I am. You literally are. Doug, <laughs> Doug Mulray <laughs> took us off. equal. <laughs> Doug Mulray did, like, an anti-ad. Oh, that, really? And he's like, oh, she really goes down. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish we had oh, a oh, one on YouTube, the Bluebird ad. But so I did a go. KFC ad that, thank God, God didn't make it to YouTube because it was so bad. It wasn't even my own voice. They got some other guy with a nerdy voice to do it. And I had to try and mime. So I had to say, what's for dinner? Right? <laughs> because it was cheaper to hire the voice actor to yeah. do it and then get me in to mime it. Right? Surely. And, and, and yeah, and I yeah. couldn't time I it right. They wanted me to come up from the desk and say, what's for dinner? Right? And I just couldn't get it. They're like, oh, again, the, the KFC is getting cold and all that sort of stuff. But it was cool. I got a good 500 bucks out of that, which was that very old. much. Yeah, what, what were yeah. you on? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. What were you on? It's, no, it's you, not uh, important. You can it's tell not me. Important. I was on about 500 bucks. The Nissan you? one? Yeah, yeah. Two and a half. <laughs> 250 bucks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not a lot. You should write them a letter and complain. Seriously. I will. That's child exploitation. Yes. Dad. You know what I was thinking the other day? I did a Coddy's ad when I was a kid, and I was thinking, if they just pay me in fucking Coddy's. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was thinking about the KFC. I, I still drink it. I yeah. still drink it. Yeah, that's you what I was thinking I mean? about the KFC yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. 
But after a while, I got over it because of all the dry ice. You see, they have to do that to make it look all steamy and sumptuous. Yes. I did a dude food ad once. You did a dude? A, a dude? No, dude food. Oh. It was a streets paddle pop. It was called dude food. Huh? And who better to represent being a dude to the world than young Jade? Do they still sell the gay times? Get. Yes. Yeah. They still sell oh, gay yes. times? It's oh, like yes. Worldwide cool. Name. Okay. Why not? All right. Will okay. we get to another letter? Will we get there? Wow. Okay. Oh, oh, I think my one is next. Here we go. Here we go. Um, oh, this one is... Uh, uh, no, we're done, Caleb. Let's see this one. Dear Jade and Ryan, I got a thought-provoking question. If one of you got bit by a poisonous snake on your privates... Oh, I know where this is going. Oh. But I'm not going there. I'm on the bottom, you. yeah. And the only way to save your life is if the other person sucked out the poison. Yeah. Would you do it? Yeah. Thanks. I'm in. Okay, suck it out from Rise Spirit, do what you okay, the do. guy who gave you the Bush to boy. the video game consoles. Bush boy, I got. Oh, by the yeah. way, this is good work. This is what this guy has drawn. Have a look at that. That, that is, is very, good. very and, good. And he gave us one of them at Supernova yeah, when we were there yeah, a couple of years ago. So up, thank you man. very much, really man. Good. Well, there you go. There's a question. Okay, so basically, if we, if we were lost in the woods and yeah, uh, one of us got bitten by yes. a poisonous snake or something like that in a, in a very uh, yes. you know intimate area, would the other one suck out the poison? Would you uh? Would you do that? For I me? wouldn't <laughs> suck anything, but but I would. Well, have, how would you draw? Would you have squeeze it, it out with your hands? This, I'd be like. Bad Wait a minute. Luck. Let's talk Sorry, about the dude. area first, all right? What like, area were we talking about? I'd be about? like, man, it's like six hundred miles to the hospital that way. You know? Yeah. Okay. Although I gotta say, I do remember something about you that I probably shouldn't mention. Go and on. And that is that. Now's the time. He once. Now it's should just, I tell it's everyone? Just me and you. He once had a tick on his dick. Uh, it was oh, in my groin you... area. It was an, on my uh, shaft, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, it was, um, you know, just lingering in the jungle. <laughs> so that situation. Not that there's any jungle anymore. Could... I'll have you girls know. No. <laughs> I probably should. I thought you guys that probably sorry. still hasn't gone down. That's uh, right. It's, 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 it's why would he want it to? It's deadly improved. tick. <laughs> deadly tick. Yes, it was inflamed, engorged. <laughs> that just came to me. Um, I know. You showed it to me like, look, laugh on it. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Maybe I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> awkward. I wish we had an awkward button. That would be really cool. Yeah. Oh, we need that as a sound He's device. looking for one. He's looking awkward. for one. Uh, I got one from Nicholas. Okay. It's a little serious, but it comes good. Okay. I just I just want you to know. Hi, guys. Just watched to say, uh, wanted to say that I watched you guys in the 90s and uh, Cheese TV daily when I was a kid. Uh, I'm a bit older now and life goes on. Married with three kids. Well done, champ. Uh, the days of Cheese TV <laughs> remind me of a simple time. It was for me too. What are you trying to say? That we're simple or no, something? No, it was a simpler time. No, was, that's exactly was, what he's trying no, to say. It was a simpler time simpler because we're time. simple. That's what he's saying. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. He thinks we're dumb. D-U-M dumb. <laughs> okay, can we move on? No. Uh, I, I now work in law enforcement as an animal management officer where oh, I wow. witness terrible things like uh, dangerous dogs, dogs fighting rings, and oh, acts of oh, animal cruelty. He's around when the snake bites us in the balls then. Yes, I'm sure he could call somebody for you. Yeah. I have been diagnosed with severe PTSD due to a few incidents with the aggressive dogs. Really? That's full on. That's uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. That is full on, So isn't I was it? going through a really rough stage and my illness became suicidal. Okay, so it got so bad I actually planned on how to do it. So this is full on stuff. Uh, I, I was then randomly uh, surfing Facebook, came across your page. All the good memories of the 90s and the 2000s come flooding back and watching your show uh, reminded me of the good times. Uh, I was into the X-Men and showed my son. Now he's hooked and we watch uh, cheese vids together. Just wanted to say thanks uh, for you guys for sticking around because without you two, I wouldn't have stuck around myself. Your fan, Nick, man. That is wow, deep, brother. Wow, that is a really, really nice letter, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Nick, you that's know? awesome, man. And, you know, I'm going to put that up on our wall, you make us feel good, too. Thanks, and, uh, man. Good on you, mate. You're doing the right thing because, um, yeah, dude, that, that's really good. You, you're doing good. I, uh, that's crazy. A, I mean, look, it's really, really nice to know that, that, uh, that you know, two regular guys like us are kind of making a difference out there somehow, you know? Amazing, man. Because we got so, that when the page first came up. There was a lot of people saying, oh, you know, I didn't have such a good childhood and stuff like that. And Cheese TV know. You know, lightened the load a little yeah. bit. Isn't that, isn't that the best kind of... You don't even know what to do with a compliment like that. I do. You know? I say, where's my babysitting money, biatches? <laughs> what? No, I don't say that. <laughs> I was looking after your kids. <laughs> Every morning. Well, I was telling you the other day that they are actually, like using coaches now 
so that you can get your Train kid. Train to be like Jaden Ryan. So you can get your kid to know how to play video <laughs> games What were we told? A video game coach. Oh, that's great. I think that that's what you should probably put your toe into. And that'd that's be cool. Great. You'd be very good at that. They're all I put into you know? it. Yeah. Hey, hey. All right. What else have we got? Is that the last of the letters? Or uh, like no. Have you got one more or that's I think, it? I think that's it. And you got. You got oh, that's one. it? Yeah. Round my bag. Yeah. 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 Look, uh, so, yeah. Keep, keep them coming in, guys. Yeah. Now, uh, we are going on a spring break. We are, yeah. yeah. And we're returning on October 17th. That's right? right. So it's only a two week break or something like that. That's right. It's not a huge thing. I mean, it's not like we're absolutely exhausting ourselves with the show. We're having a bloody brilliant time and we don't want it to end, you see. But we are going to give you a break from us, as everyone deserves. We are also on iTunes again with our podcast episodes. They're back. So tell your friends. There's a there's whole lot of podcasts. Tell your now. friends. I think there may be how many? Thirty over thirty podcasts. Twenty something podcasts on there. That's a lot. Um, we Is all there? Did yeah. we do that many? Yeah. Yeah, we did a lot of podcasts, man, and they're all up on iTunes. Jaden, so look it up. Look uh, it up under Hot Wing. We also Hot sent you guys a survey as well, didn't we? Remember when we got... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we uh, sent that survey out saying, how do you like the show so far? Yes, sort of stuff, do you prefer right? porn parodies? And, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And we had a Good few job. bites, didn't we? So if you want to answer that survey, yeah. go ahead. on his privates. Okay. Now, will you stop laughing whenever someone says my private's all right? Sorry. Seriously, does that just make you laugh Funny. so hard? <laughs> all right. Now, lastly, we would like to thank our very, very great and honourable Patreon. Because without you, we would not be here at all. Because no. we can't stand each other, seriously. No. As soon as I get away from this guy, I'd give the biggest sigh of relief. It's unbelievable. Yes. Yeah, we're only here because you want us to be. Oh, yes, Mark. Well, no, hey. <laughs> All right, guys, listen, you have a good time. Uh, we always do. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, we are going to see you in two weeks with a new locale. All right, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. To see more, like on Facebook, subscribe to YouTube, follow on Instagram, and watch on Twitch. If you'd like to help keep Jade and Ryan on the internet, support the show over at Patreon.